All right. Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, I basically chose the house that we are about to look at because uh, a friend sent it to me and I thought the name of the road was funny. Um, so, so here we There's are. There's a road near uh, one of Rowan's and my friend's house. I'm not kidding. It is called Devil's Potato Hole Road. Oh, that's a whole nother level. We should definitely find a house on that road to look at. Okay, four um, cobble, left four cobble, not the right four. East cobble. left four cobble road. It's just so many things. Must it be is this a house? So I think so, but it looks a bit like a resort. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, a friend that used to live in Utah gave me an update about where this is and then tried to start giving me other uh, spoilers, which I oh. quickly cut off at the past. Don't worry. Good. But um, so she said, trying to find it. Uh, as a former Utah resident, I'd be happy to provide a bit of cultural background. It's right smack dab in the middle of ski country and not far from Provo, home of Brigham Young University. Mm -hmm. That's really all I got. So that's our background to this potential house. So or perhaps a retirement home. It's 50,000 square feet. So I don't think it should be a house. I'm going to be. No, honest. that should be many houses. Yeah. If this is a house, it feels unjust. So here we go. A lot of these houses have felt unjust in a lot of ways, but yeah. this truly feels like it's got one of those porticos like at an inn. Yeah, like at a hotel. But it's only six beds, which would be a small hotel. But 12 baths. Yeah. Why so many baths, guys? I don't know, but look at that morning staircase that we've got in there in the grand foyer. Ooh. Okay. This. The back of the house. Yeah. I mean, if I stayed at this hotel, I would be like, this is the fanciest hotel ever. Yeah. So and like, if I lived in this house, I would not. Yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't, but. I can't quite envision what it would feel like. Yep. Okay. Wow. Okay. So do we think uh, Count Chandeliers, Knights, Ninja Turtles? King Tut? Yeah. Sarcophagi? Small lions, maybe? <laughs> That's probably not a Ninja Turtle, right? That's no, I'm guessing not. It's probably something having to do with the night, but I'm not sure. Feels like a ninja turtle. You know what? It is really cool that it opens up into that view in the back, though. I mean, that's gorgeous. Yeah. It's a very nice way to start your luxury hotel spa. Yeah, true. This okay. color is worse. It actually looks worse this way. I don't know why. Yep, just, just less filtering. Okay. Yep, we see that. Chandelier number two. All right, chandelier number two, though. We are still only at one night and one mummy. But <laughs> beautiful two more, views, though. Two more lions. So okay, so three lions, two chandeliers, one knight, one mummy. <laughs> yeah, I think those are the only things we're allowed to count because those are the only things that showed up in the first indoor picture. I'm gonna keep a tally: chandelier, okay, lions, knights, mummies, ninja turtles. Knight, one mummy, one ninja turtle? Question mark. Ninja turtle ish. Yeah. Is this um, a different? No, that's the so same. the same room, just looking, we looked back the other and we looked forward. Okay. And we look, Oh, that is that's gorgeous. This, why do they keep taking all these, like, from above pictures? I don't know. Maybe they don't get as dizzy as I do, but this is, like. I would rather have a from below picture looking up to show me how tall it is. True, Yeah. But I will say, you know what's working for me? The staging. This feels like this is exactly what this room should have in it. Yep. Yep. Well, I think the room needs to exist. I don't. No, it does it need exists. one more mummy. One more yes. mummy. Um, what do we think that is? Probably not another knight or a mummy. No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, but I do spy another, another chandelier. chandelier. All right, we're now tied chandeliers to lions. Okay, okay. Who's gonna it's like win? the worst football game ever. <laughs> Chandeliers three, Lions three. They each had one field goal. Another chandelier. Chandeliers have come up. I wonder where all the rest of the Lions are. Why do we have so many dining spaces? I don't know. I think that this is one we've already seen, right? So that's not another chandelier. No, no, go back. Those are different chandeliers and different. 
Well, those two, but what about this one? No, that We've one I think In this is, room yet. I think so. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This is a lot of dining rooms. You know what would be hard to count in this house? Pillars. Mm-hmm. They are say chairs. Huge on also. pillars. Yes, yeah. also chairs. This would be harder to count than granddaddy's chairs. Wow. Wow. I don't think we get to count water features because we're too deep in now, but if we did. But, wow. Also, gotta say, this would be a great place for a knight or a lion. <laughs> yeah. I feel like either could really fit the theme. What a missed opportunity. Wow. Okay, so a whole indoor pool. You know, it's because it's Utah. Outdoor would be too cold most of the time. Yeah, I mean, sure. And I guess I'm not sure that we needed the, like, jungle motif piece. No, that does feel extra. But like, I feel like you could do an indoor pool that's just a pool. Oh, but there is no chandelier, so. There's no chandelier, but there are plenty of seats. One, mm -hmm. two, three, really four, chairs. five, six, seven, at least eight different seating areas. Good. I feel like counting the chairs is a bridge too far, but. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. Some big old what do you think that wire thing is? Do you think this is going to fall over if it's not appropriately supported with <laughs> wire? Um, yes. That it is keeping you from being drowned by a fiddle leaf fig. Yes. I mean, it's a real risk when you're in that. <laughs> what There's a way a to go. A foliage to kill you. Taken down by a ficus. <laughs> oh, a little, another seating area back here by the small kitchen. A little kitchen, yep, that is the size of many actual regular kitchens. Yeah, yeah. I've mm -hmm. definitely seen a lot of kitchens that size. Um, yep, okay. Is this a bridge? Yeah, that's a bridge. Yep. The indoor bridge. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm, that is, and there's... Ooh, I hope there's a, a swim-up bar behind this. I feel this like really cool. there might not be, but I'd be into it. Maybe you can swim up to the kitchen. Oh, no, the kitchen's the other way. Maybe a swim up Sprite station, because we can't go with, like, Coke necessarily, but. Um, wow. I feel like it's they would have highlighted it, but I feel like we've really got a yeah. picture of this. Okay, there's the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. looks like a hotel. Those look like hotel doors. They totally do. Like, you use your key card to get in. Yeah. Yeah. Is this another kitchen? Uh, I think this or is, is it just door. a laundry room with a fridge? And is that a chandelier? Are we going to count that as a chandelier? I'm going to count that as a chandelier. Okay, then we're at number five. Um, I think this is just a huge laundry room with an extra fridge. It's like the pop fridge. It's where you go get your soda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, this looks like another kitchen. Yeah, probably the main kitchen, I'm thinking. Look at that view. Is wow. that another chandelier? Uh, have we seen, I think we've seen that chandelier because it was over those two lions. We've already seen those lions too. Oh, that's that room. Uh-huh. You don't think they're new lions? Cause that's no, I think they're the same lions. I don't think we're repeating the lions. Okay. They could just if be I'm wrong, I'm lion mon mantle mantle. Oh, good. Here's another chandelier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Is that like a business center in the kitchen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see the printer. That's usually what tells oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Might be under the counter. <laughs> but, like, that's With a business microwave. center phone. Yeah, that's totally a business center phone. Wow. Yeah. It's really... Okay, here's our lobby. All right. They love the double staircase. They this could not not be a lobby. No. I mean, what else would it be? Although there are pictures and frames on some of the pillars, which... So oh, yeah, lobby like and more. You know what would fit there? A lion. <laughs> I think like the concierge's business card. Do we think these are headless knights? Because they have arms and feet. Oh, that is creepy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's creepy. But do we get to count them as knights? As if you want about? to, you can set the rules on this. I'm not. I mean, gonna like, what them. are they if they're not a knight? I mean, I can see how they're not knight clothes, but what? They're in knight clothes, I guess. <laughs> they're wearing knight gowns. <laughs> Uh, I think they're supposed to be headless butlers. What? That's terrible. That's no, no. so creepy. Oh, sure. That's a bowling alley. Yeah, that's a bowling alley. Wow. Too bad we didn't think to tally those up. Because Real lack of chandeliers in this here. Yeah, I am disappointed in the lack of formality in the bowling alley. But I do like the official scoring systems. Like, I feel uh -huh. like 
that is nothing if not a real bowling alley. Two lanes. So two lanes, yeah. Well, because you can like, play against each other and then have your audience on the marble. Also, like, they have seating. Like, you know, when you think of a bowling alley, you don't think, like, this is comfortable seating. And they took that uncomfortable seating and brought it just for the audience. <laughs> That is, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want to. They don't want to fuck around with chairs that no. are actually bowling adjacent, attached to the floor, and also the. If table. you really hate those, fine. You can sit on the couch. We got a leather recliner <laughs> back there for you. But you might miss your turn, and that's not uh-huh. my problem. Nope. And you're definitely gonna slip in those bowling shoes. We're back outside. We're back outside. That was a surprising turn of events. Um, I guess an interest to me would be. Literally a single bedroom or bathroom. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I would be interested in any of those things. Oh, look, it's outside the hotel where you. What are these? Are these the things where they like buzz when your table's ready? It looks like it. Yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> the your seating area has come available for you. <laughs> Please be your host. Wow. Okay. Well, we're back. There is the sarcophagus in the night, but we've already seen them. So. Oh, okay. Oh. Is this a bedroom with a chandelier? Uh huh. Is that a knight in front of the mirror, or what is that? It looks like it. I think it's the photographer, but I'm gonna call oh. the knight. <laughs> we don't. The photographer could be a knight. We don't know. Yeah, there's oh, no yeah. evidence the photographer is not a knight. Nope. Nope. Um, are those lions? Yeah. Or are those no? Those are dragons. Those are dragons. Different kind of creature. Yeah. All right, but we did get another chandelier. It seems like a the lot of chandeliers flowers. are winning. Wow. And another, another one. Oh, that one's covered with blood. As a blood chandelier. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you seeing any lions or knights? Or a lot of butterflies. Maybe a small rooster here. Is there a ninja turtle anywhere? Probably. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I don't. This is, I, don't. I mean, so do, they're not counting. This is an office. This, oh, yeah. It's, it's open. See over the balcony. More dragon. But yeah, no, I don't. This can't be a bedroom. And we're, we're back, back to this room. Okay. Who I know I said it's a bathroom. I am impressed that they thought to put a couple of safes in their bathroom. Well, you have to keep. Do you imagine how expensive their skincare is? You saw the chandelier. Yeah, I did, and I counted it. Yep. Mm-hmm. So was, is this a bathroom or is this a closet? Because that's a closet. Those could be just like getting maybe ready. Maybe it's a dressing it. area. Yeah. It could be a dressing area. What is that thing in the middle? Is that a couch? A settee. I don't know. Can we, is there a different angle of it? Let's see. Nope, that was it. Nope, but there's another chandelier. Oh, no, this is the one with the Oh, we've already seen it. Yeah, okay. Oh, look, but there's a globe. We didn't see that one before. Oh, yeah, nice new angle. This is the angle you requested. So I don't know what this is. I think that's a dressing room. Yeah, bottom up, okay, and then bottom down, or top down. Another chandelier. Two. Two chandeliers. Okay. They felt like they were falling behind on their chandelier count because of that bowling alley. So, <laughs> so this is thing. another bedroom. Oh my God, this is a bedroom. Yeah. Well, we've only seen one so far, so I'm glad. But this know. bedroom is huge. This is how they only wound up with six bedrooms. They did not properly size them. <laughs> Each bedroom is at least the size of my house. Right. When each bedroom is actually the size of a three-bedroom house. When you need to put pillars in every bedroom, it's going to take some extra space. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Pillars, multiple seating areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they could have, again. Why do we keep going back to this room? Okay, here's a chandelier we haven't seen yet. This is another dining room. This is the tourism room. This is is (laughs) This is the third dining room. This is where they try to get you to get the timeshare. This is where they try to get you to get the timeshare. There's another business credit. phone. Yeah. Another business center phone. Uh-huh. Oh. But if you sit through the um, the presentation, you get a free stay. Yeah. I mean, I did it once just to get a beach bed. So. Um, I, I'm not because I don't trust myself to not actually be like, wow, this is a great idea. Even oh, though yeah. It's so it was when I went with friends and we had multiple rooms. There were three rooms and so we could get three beach beds if we all went, but we uh-huh. had to each hold each other accountable for not giving in to the single <laughs> bed. Okay. We've seen this before. Back to this room. Another this business another center? Business center. Yep. Uh, is this... Another bedroom? Another bedroom with another chandelier. chandelier. Cool. And more pillars. My God, we're up to like 
8,006 pillars. I've been is counting. This another, is this the same dressing room? Is that the settee we couldn't see? Uh, maybe. That seems likely that that's, that's it from the front. If only we were coming from the other direction and could see the safe, that would give us mm -hmm. the information. The safe was really the giveaway. Yeah. Yep, here it is. Okay, so this is a dressing room. Yes, yeah, so we still have not seen a bathroom. No. Mm -mm. I don't think we're going to because we're mostly done. Oh, a dedicated, uh, a dedicated sauna. sauna. <laughs> wow. I don't think wow. I ever could that a large proportion of homes had dedicated saunas until this not project. either. No, I was unaware. Um, indoor playground. Why? With a drinking fountain. Is this a home? It has a drinking <laughs> fountain. <laughs> The drinking fountain really feels like another level. Is there a child in the ball pit? <laughs> it's a prop child. That's it's a statue ninja, ninja turtle. The thing that was next to the night, yeah, it's the ninja turtle and they just <laughs> dropped it in the, looked like a kid. That's just wow. like a whole new game. We used to have a swing set that had one of these things and I found it surprisingly fun. But you did? Yeah, in the backyard at 1342. Oh. Um, this looks broken to me. Yeah, it, it's definitely a tilt. <laughs> yeah, you just sort of said that word because it was in the crossword this morning. Yeah, it was. Or was it yesterday? It was in one of them. Either way. Um, oh, this is like the crappiest of the bedrooms. You have a bedroom that is the size of 17 separate bedrooms and this person has to sleep in the Murphy. <laughs> Murphy bed with, next to a sink. <laughs> With what? an extra snake. Do you think that the toilet's in the room too and they're just not showing us that yeah. angle? Mm -hmm. I think that they're really afraid to That's show the only that. bathroom. They just put an extra bed in there for if they get too many guests. All right. And here's the concierge. Oh, we've already seen this one. It's the blood it's the blood chandelier, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. From this angle, it looks less like an office and more like a concierge. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, wait. I'm sorry. Are these showers next to each other? Yes, they are. One does not do that in a home. No one does it at a gym. Yeah. Do you think this whole place has been a strangely appointed gym all along? I do love when after I work out, I can go nap in my bedroom. That <laughs> 17 bedrooms put together. Uh, that, those are, are bedroom <laughs> stalls. <laughs> um, I, I have so many questions. This is the only bathroom we've seen. <laughs> This is why there's only six of Besides them. possibly the one with the Murphy bed in it. All one right. bathroom has two toilets and two showers. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I am, so I am ready. I would like to know more about this house. All right. Um, uh, where's the description? Oh, here it is. This is a real undersell. Nestled within the Wasatch Mountain Range on over 150 acres is this stunning home includes a couple of Utah County parcels. This beautiful home provides peace and quiet with all the entertainment imaginable without leaving home. Is this a bunker? Like a really weirdly appointed bunker for children? This location provides you the ability to enjoy the great outdoors right in your own back door. <laughs> <laughs> this property also provides the ability to have a self-sufficient lifestyle. Such a rare find. What is this? Um, so there is secured covered parking. It was only built in 2010. Uh -huh. um, so there are five full bathrooms, two three-quarter bathrooms. What counts as a full bathroom in a world where one of your bathrooms has two showers and two I toilets? Think another question is, is this seven partial bathrooms just adding those up or are those on top of it? And it's just like, it's well, actually 14 partial bathrooms, yeah. five full bathrooms. Yeah. No, it's got to be the partial. Oh, shit. Finished area above ground is less than half the total. Oh, it's totally a bunker. It's not a bunker. It's a bunker. Oh, my God. How Everything many, sort of makes more sense now. How many chandeliers? It doesn't, but like there's a little way it does. What? How many chandeliers do you think are below ground? Oh my God. I would hope that every underground room had a chandelier. So I bet they didn't show us any of the underground room. I don't think everything looked like it was above ground. And I, if they showed us to us, then it would be a little security issue. But I would yes. hope that every underground room has a chandelier so that you can have just a touch of luxury while you're down there. Right. And look, if you're going to be hunkered down, you need to have a little something that's going to remind you that, that all of this was worth it. 
There's also a workshop included. That is a armory for your militia. I'm pretty residential sure. Residential vegetation is pines. Mm. Horses you can, can be raised. Right. There is electric on property. There is no HOA fee, surprisingly. Oh, thank God. Um, once you've paid your $18 million, you are home free for that Done. HOA because you, you are, are 11 set. HOAs right inside. You do have to pay $9,000 in property taxes. No, 98000 right? I think I, mine was for a year, was I mean, for a month, wasn't it? That's oh, yeah. Taxes, yeah. Right, 98000 a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, a lot. Wow. Wow. Well, so. To be fair, there are worse places to be during the apocalypse. You do have you an are not in their militia, in which case it's probably the worst place to be. Yeah, no, don't go here if you're not one of them. Um, just for final tallies, we did have three lions, one knight, one mummy, one ninja turtle. And this was all above ground. Possibly two ninja turtles. We're not sure what was in the interior That's of the true. ground. One to two. And um, 13 above ground chandeliers. Wow. Do you think that the playground was underground? No. Okay, this was above ground. I see those yep. windows. That's above ground. Yep. That we don't know, but probably above ground, just based on it, everything else. Yeah, I think it would be weird to have an underground sauna, but you don't know. I feel like it's weird to have 30,000 feet of underground bunker space underneath this hotel, so. It's, um, it's a hotel for those who are concerned about the apocalypse. Wow. Um, well, I've learned a lot today. This is a lot. Is this common in Utah? Is what I need to know. I assume yes, because it is a place where there are a lot of people with a high level of preparedness, if those television shows are to be believed. Okay, all right. So I'm going to assume that some of their preparedness involves underground bunkers, though I doubt they are all 50,000 square foot homes. I mean, and full of so much luxury. Yeah, it's also very interesting because it feels as if the only places the children might be allowed in this home are the uh, playground pool and the pool and the playground. Yeah, because yeah. there was nothing else that a kid could be in. I don't think there were even televisions, except for like the business center television. There was a television in the 78,000 square foot bedroom, but that's the only mm. one I saw. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what? This is a weird place. I don't know that it's it's for me. Uh, it's a little isolated and also a little like doomsday prepper for yeah, me. Yeah, but it's right next to Rattlesnake Mountain and Red Pine Knoll, which no, doesn't... neither of those sound great to me. Um, but I'm so glad that we looked at it. And what I feel would be like your key room to make sure you had in a bunker besides like you know the rooms that everyone has. In most houses like literally. you know probably the um dressing room with the safe that really made me feel yeah. secure and also beautiful at the same time i really liked the pool with a hot tub attached i feel like that was nice if i am underground i'd want to be salt water because i do think that the chlorine fumes could get a bit much when i was sealed in but yeah, that's fair i would love that room down there what i also you viewers i also enjoyed you know there were a hundred kitchens so maybe just like an extra one. Yeah, sure. My own personal one. I think I deserve my own kitchen. I would love to not have to share a kitchen. Um, you think that those two bedrooms are the only above ground bedrooms? Well, there was kind of three because there was the Murphy bed and the same. Oh, I think of that as a partial bath. <laughs> I think of it as a partial bedroom. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm not sure if those are the only two. Could be. It's entirely possible. Because they need some bedrooms down underneath. Yeah, I mean, you need everything. You need all of that, but just replicated down in the... I, you know what? No, I've changed my mind. What I need is the bowling alley. Mm. Ooh, I wonder if the bowling alley was already underground. It could underground. be in the basement. I know, it could be underground. People do love putting bowling alleys underground to begin with. Right. Well, because that's how you feel like it's cool, and you can do, like, cosmic bowling. And I light. think it's probably really loud to be in a room under a bowling alley. I'm sure. That is not a quiet sport. Yeah. Below. Yeah. Well, I do appreciate them letting us have a peek. Yes, of just what, what they have to offer in their bunker of safety and solitude. Do you own a bunker? Let us know. <laughs> do you, you know who did own a bunker? We're just interested. 
Do you know who did own a bunker and also loved seating? Granddaddy? Granddaddy. Yeah, his wasn't, just to be really clear to everyone else, he did not have like a whole home. He had a bomb shelter. Yeah, but this does feel like it could be, he would look at this and be like, honey, <laughs> this is a great idea. <laughs> honey, you just got to see. They're thinking ahead, you know? Don't know what's going to happen. Um, uh, all right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.